Well, Tamara mentioned motion pictures, so we're going to stay right along that theme. If you saw this year's Academy Award-winning movie, The Dallas Buyers Club, you will surely be familiar with AZT, the drug treatment for AIDS. Our next honoree, Janet Litzter Rideout, is one of four patent holders for the compound, which changed the lives and the treatment landscape for millions of AIDS patients worldwide. In the 1960s, the AZT compound had originally been intended for use in treating cancer patients, but it was shelved when determined to be ineffective. Then in the mid-1980s, while Janet was working for Burroughs Welcome, she and her collaborators were able to identify that AZT prevented the AIDS virus from reproducing in the body. The drug was fast-tracked by the FDA, becoming authorized for use only three years later. In addition to her work on AZT, Janet holds more than 50 additional U.S. patents as inventor or co-inventor. She spent her career working for pharmaceutical companies before retiring in 2001 from Inspire Pharmaceuticals as its senior vice president for discovery. With the impact she has had on our world, it's no wonder that Eve Magazine named her among its 100 great American women in 2010. And we couldn't agree more. Congratulations, Janet. Let's do right out. Uh, thank you. I have to say that uh, this whole thing was a big surprise. And uh, you're just working along. You don't really think you do that much. So uh, I have to... Uh, forget, not to forget, to thank my husband because the last time I was here and I was awarded the, uh, the Dean of the College of Art and Sciences Award by, um, from Dean Pittman, I forgot to thank him. So that's not very good form. And <laughs> so I'll start with him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to UB was uh, quite an adventure. I had uh, prepared to come here as a chem major at Mount Holyoke College and I also got a master's degree there. They were extremely strong in chemistry. And having ventured into political science and English and math and this sort of thing and failed miserably, I stuck with chemistry, which was pretty good. When I came here, I found one female ahead of me and one with me in my class. And then to follow, there were four. So that shook the department up quite a bit when four people were accepted who were female. But it kind of made us fit in a little bit better. And I have to say that, yes, we worked hard, but we had a lot of fun. And Howard Tickelman was my advisor and uh, friend, really. He didn't, he didn't come down on you, he went up with you, which was very nice. Um, spent, actually came here and expected to be at the University of Buffalo. When I arrived, I found out that they had joined the state system and that there was a whole new chemistry building here called Atchison Hall. Now this was wonderful because it had twice the room that the chemistry department needed, actually. So we could spread out and have several rooms to uh, the group and actually uh, get things done because we weren't crowded in. Uh, we had a cumulative exam program. <laughs> this was not a pleasant experience. <laughs> I don't know if any of you who finished went through such a thing. Uh, the monthly exams from any part of chemistry, and um, a lot of people got in trouble. So then they started to say, well, it was probably from this section, so you could focus. And that, was, that made things pass rather quickly. We also had to have a minor, which I understand maybe they don't now. Mine uh, minor was in the medicinal chemistry group. And fortunately for me, that kind of helped me when I went looking for a job and Burroughs Welcome had an opening, and Dr. Uh, Trudy Ellion hired me. 
unbeknownst to personnel. When I arrived, I said, I'm here, and they said, who are you? <laughs> I said, I guess you better call Trudy, because here I am. And uh, they, they then welcomed me. Um, she had women, uh, which was nice. They were biologists, not necessarily chemists. And uh, the facility was ancient. This was a shock, having been in a nice new building. Uh, but then they moved to North Carolina, and we had brand new facilities again. So that was nice. People were nice. The company believed in sharing the experience among all the workers. And uh, as a chemist, I got to work with microbiologists, toxicologists, um, you name it, all these disciplines and get, who are involved in getting a drug forward. And their attitude was, you're a chemist. You have to learn my stuff, because I hate chemistry, and I'm not going to learn it. So you, you, you learn a smidgen of this and a smidgen of that. And um, it, it helps keep you interested, because you never forget, and you never stop learning. So when things moved along, and um, we had AZT, it was not an anti-tumor compound. It was not a, an antibacterial, because it failed. Uh, the, the bacteria outgrew the control of it. But when they came along and the virologist had this test for a retrovirus, uh, I, the compound was near and dear, so in it went. And don't you know, the, the um, virologist said, we have to retest this thing because I think I forgot to put the virus in on the plate. There was no plaques or holes in it. So I, I guess I forgot the, the, to put the virus in. So she repeated it. And don't you know, the thing cleared the plate. So then they titrated it, and it was very, very potent. Now, the compound was not new. It's very unusual for a company to invest in and develop a compound that is not novel because the patent is a use patent. That makes the patent, in, well, in a lot of people's mind, it doesn't have much strength. And actually, for 20 years after we hit the market, that compound was, ch the inventorship was challenged in the courts. And finally, the attorney up in Montreal called me up in uh, around 2010 and said, the last case uh, was solved, and we won that one too, and thank you for my career. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is amazing. And, but at that point, I had already joined Inspire Pharmaceutical, which was a startup. Now, this is entirely different. If you can do it, do it. Take a chance. We went along and actually came up, slam up against two weeks of money before we got some more money. But this was fantastic. And we had two compounds that could have been a drug. They weren't, didn't become a drug. But um, Merck bought the company and maybe they won't shelve it forever. Let's hope. But anyway, it's been a fantastic experience. It came to an end. I didn't care at that point. I went on to more normal things. And I had a lot of fun doing that too. But I really appreciate the nomination and the award, and I'm impressed by all the others who are here. So thank you very much. Thank you.